that you give me the name of your company i go carry out my due diligence if at all your company is registered under the registrar of uh, companies act i should find it somewhere i should find it somewhere i think this is something that nobody has ever asked him so ali ali shanga tenembe nini mara ya kwanza so he starts telling me at uh the name of the company is not important i'm actually regretting why i deleted his messages i so after i started asking him the name of the company the guy starts getting mad all of a sudden and then the name of the company is not important just he's still insisting just take a better photo of your certificate and send it to me and then i will call you guys for an interview next week it wasn't just adding up to me i wasn't just getting it so after he starts getting mad I I tell him you know what I've decided to just quit the job so just count me out of it and uh, that's just it I tell him love good night and whatever he says good night too so I leave him I leave his messages and I know I'm not sending that document I don't know whether he used my the documents I had the other ones that I had as in come to me I just don't know but I hope you know it so I've left uh, talking to me uh, to him I'm not talking to these two friends of mine the one that I saw her certificate and the one who recommended me for that job so we start discussing and we realize whether this person can be a crook or a quack or whatever so i go to i i made an effort I actually went to linkedin i went to linkedin to search this person's name because he says that he's the owner of, of the company which he didn't even tell me like he told me the name of the company after he, at, he has so many companies that he's running junior construction how many attenders and then i'm asking him that even if you have so many companies and you're the director of all those companies if at all there you can have as many companies as you want according to the laws of kenya correct me if i'm wrong lakini you have to register your company by the registrar you know of companies act at least i know that so he tells me that he has like over 10 companies so what he usually does he recruits interns and then you know and, and, and then he he posts them to all those companies his company deals with construction and tenders and then i'm like okay this one does not even seem as if it's the right thing because why is it that after all this while after to me vrugana vrugana is when you're giving me the name of the company so i'm here telling him okay thank you so much but i'm not interested with the job i'm just not interested in the job so that is how we left it with him so i'm talking to these other friends and that is now when they told me that us we have actually done more and my friend is telling me i have sent that document like over 50 times the second thing i've done i've sent myself a photo a video of myself holding my national identity card and saying nothing like just saying nothing so i'm wondering why would you as a saint uh person ask someone to send a photo of their document holding it and saying nothing like that's just a lot of question mark because maybe i am the one who is actually overthinking this whole thing so i send a message to two of my friends who are into tech and all these things so i ask i give them the whole story and blah 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 and then one and that is actually a quack nothing like that happens because i was wondering like what is the worst thing that this person could do with my i uh, with our documents so that is why actually i asked my other friends so they are here telling me actually what these people do is they they just uh, create another duplicate copy of your certificate and then i'm here if you're creating a duplicate copy a fake certificate of an original certificate bearing my credentials what what are you doing like what are you doing with my documents so they tell me maybe they use it to maybe kufanya illicit uh, businesses and all that and i'm like oh my god this is crazy because even if this one itakuja kama case trust me you will tell me why you sent your documents on your own so you will be answerable so i tell these other uh, my two friends like this is what i've asked around and they're telling me this person is not actually for real so uh, my friend tells me now that Mimi actually aliendelea kuongea na Mimi. Hadi anaanza kuniita majina fani at my dear Jinini. So I'm like this is an official person, a manager of the companies that he has and then he's calling you all those things like where did uh, the official relationship, the cordial relationship you have with a prospect employee go to like it's not ethical at all. It's really not ethical. So 
kumbe like after mimi nilimaliza kuongea na yeye they continue talking with my other friends because aliona mimi ni mgumu sana mimi ni mgumu sana i'm not sending my documents i'm just not and i think that it's just instincts because mimi venye i told my sister this person is asking me for a better photo of that document can you just send me a better photo they told me i'm not sending you a better photo because this person might just be using your documents and taking advantage you know taking advantage of um innocent job seekers around the country and just you know i don't know making them look like stupid people or something so to make out make out make any member best yangu by the next time you get a job it's really good it's really just good to carry uh due diligence you know on that company like even if you see a job advert go to the, that company's website check do they really have a job hmm? what are what are they asking us to send you get so so the following week because mimi nilecha kuongea na yeye he texts the other friend and then he texts me as well like that is like a week later if i'm not wrong he texts me he texts my other friend and atwambia ati um ati we will be conducting interviews next week so mimi venye niliona it ni picture yake na ni message yake nilisoma na i just blue ticked so my friend texts me and asks me has this person texted you and imagine he texts me after i told him i am not interested in the job so that again raises questions to me like why are you still following me if they am the one who is interested in the job i am gonna send my documents or something so he texts me and tells me at is at make sure you send your documents we have the interview next week so me i blue tick the message and then my friend calls me and tells me so have you seen this message from this person or has he texted you and i'm telling me i told her he has texted me and he blue tick your message by the way i just blue ticked that message and then my friend told me like me miss him much if i'm gonna give him his own test of the medicine like alimpasha kabisa 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 akampasha 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 akamtusi cuz i told i told i told my friend this person may just be using our certificates for some weird and queer motives because Someone who tells you to send a photo of yourself holding your certificate and then holding your ID in a kama ile a drug trafficking like it wasn't just adding up guys by the way it wasn't it wasn't adding up maybe i know if it is official you go to the website you upload your documents in the right way in the right format sometimes that they usually tell you don't upload a document that exceeds this and this and b correct me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong but i know that is what they usually tell you so my friend tells me imagine i'm not going to leave this person to go i'm going to give him his own test of the medicine so ali mpasha akampasha akamwambia if you dare and use my documents for any queer motive i am going to report you to the police so this person i think yeye kamshtua akasema tisiji nini akaanza kucheka hmm? akaanza kucheka so this is reported what my friend was telling me he started laughing and then he told me that he can even come to nairobi they, 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 they and, and and take her for lunch then i'm like take you for lunch as who like kama nani ana take for lunch as who it wasn't just making a lot of sense by that guy so anamwambia at if you don't believe i'm going to come to nairobi and take you for lunch so i'm asking my friend why does he want to prove so much that his company is legit i mean i asked him give him the name give me the name of your company let me go check you have a website if it is a working company you must have a website it must be working it must outline what the company is about does it recruit people is it recruiting people right now where do we upload like that something like that so the guy tells the lady at if you don't believe I'm going to come to Nairobi and prove to that. My other friend who recommended us for a job texted him, had texted him akamwambia, is your is your job really really for real because my friends are wondering if your job is for real. Wana ni pressure huko ananiambia it doesn't look like it's real. And then the guy tells my friend, imagine the audacity, the effrontery. And I'm amia at your friends are just driven by pressure. At you are made to too pressure. Sijui there is no way I can tell you to send documents if it's not a real job. And mind you, the time that he had told my friend to send documents was like last year December. And then he told her that he's going to give him a job in January. Like yake ilikuwa nga automatic she's going to get a job. So I'm wondering January is over. Why don't you have this job? 
why don't you have this job and then why is he using you to recruit other people like because, like the, the, the person is telling the lady at leave your friends alone they are just driven by pressure just look uh, for other people like 25 when you utapata as many as you can bring them to me so i'm here wondering kwani anakwambia wewe atumtaftie watu is supposed to post your job and then if you're interested we will send the documents and then the, doc- uh, the, the, the the person does not even have like a deadline for sending the documents the person is chatting you anytime that he feels like like tell me in the comment section am i overthinking like because all these things were just not adding up were not adding up. so my friends is here and i'm ambia at if you don't believe me i'm going to come to nairobi and prove you wrong mini collect why do you have to prove you to prove me wrong why do you have to prove us wrong if at all your company is legit you don't have to prove us wrong this is not na yoshida if at all you are not applying to your job to your job so why do you want so much to prove na alashina kiambia best yango at you just look for other people when it me is your documents faster faster so ni like wow wow just wow it's not just adding up it's not adding up so after all that i left him mimi niacha message yake best yango yeye aliacha kama amempasha and all that and I, i i told my other friend like next it's it's good because that's all we've been doing like if you get a job you tell me if i feel like applying i'm going to apply like the decision of applying is solely left to me but as a good person you told me you know what there's a job opportunity here so you know me ilisha hivyo because mimi alini text akanemeti next week we're going to have a uh, a meeting on zoom that was supposed to be on 6th february the reason as to why i didn't actually give this story early in advance is because i wanted to stay and watch and see like are we going to have that interview for real like is it really gonna happen you know something like that so nothing happened nothing happened alini tumia message akanemeti you're going to have an interview on date date 7 i must deal with date 6 Next six ili fika nothing actually happened nothing happened no call no nothing so that just made me conclude that this was actually a quack there was there was nothing like a job interview so what actually was um giving me stress is what is the worst that could happen to our certificates like nini ni anaweza fanya nayo sana na certificates yetu because i didn't understand why he's telling us to send a photo at he wants to see that code if you go and take your certificate very well hapo katikati i don't know for other campuses but for jeko hapo katikati kuna kwanga na hiyo code inaonekana tu hivi but if you take a photo inakwanga uko ndani ndani uwezi iona sana i just going to see so tanga like I just I was just scared like what is the worst that this person could do with our certificates because I was imagining if this person goes and creates a duplicate certificate and then uses it to do very illegal business in Kenya and then it's caught of course because your documents are there you're the one who's going to be caught so it really scared me but I prayed I told God no weapon that is fashioned against me shall work it he will do nothing with that certificate i prayed i prayed and i prayed and i prayed because certificate is a very personal document in fact any document that bears your name it's very very personal it's it's not just supposed to be shared anyhow so like mambo ili shapo there was no interview the person never contacted again like nilikuwa naangalia hizo vitu zote zenye huyo msia anafanya like texting you on a saturday which is not a working day not being ready to give you the name of the company him telling you to send a photo of your document and not a scanned or a, a certified copy of your document and then him telling my friend that you are just driven by pressure at tumetoka to campus juzi and we are driven by pressure all that were just red flags for me they are just red flags and i don't know whether this has happened to any one of us and i would love us to have this conversation because i feel like most of us job seekers out there we really get into this kind of shit like unapata someone uh, is offering you a job which is a fake job you end up sending your documents some even end up sending money the most at least what saved us me at least there was no money to be sent but then again us the virtue of us sending our documents actually but then I raised a lot of questions like in as much as he wasn't asking for any money he was just telling us to send our documents no he it wasn't the right way it wasn't the right way for him to ask us to send our documents and at the same time I said if I am wrong if it was really really legit let us have this conversation on the comment section let us talk about it. like what are some of the um 
situation that you've gone through in this country while you're looking for a job. I know most of us, sometimes we're even told to send money, send your documents, send money. Some of us are even told to meet me in this kind of place and then you go there, you're so insecure and unsafe because you're meeting someone you don't know and i just feel like i i i can use my platform to you know just spread awareness because they usually say knowledge is power have as much knowledge as you can about something if a job gets posted go to their website check in their careers um uh, tab angalia are there jobs is it really working because i feel like uh people know we are desperately looking for jobs so they are gonna do anything 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 you know with uh that so i don't know i don't know if this story has happened to you i'll still insist it again if it has happened to you i would love to hear your part of the story and also i just wanted to take this chance you know to just warn each and every one of us to be careful of such people out there because it's actually so saddening that such people exist in this our country and uh, the fact that no one talks about it it's actually crazy i feel like um a lot more um, many other people outside here are experiencing the same thing it's sad actually hadi leo nakanga hivi chini na juliza by the way huyu mtu anaweza kwa kifanya nini na documents zetu i'm really uh prayerful and hopeful that he does nothing with our documents because at the end of the day you sent your document willingly so that alone can implicate you but i'm just hopeful that he did nothing with the documents and um that's just my story i mean it happened to me it can happen to anyone else today is me tomorrow is you and i hope you learned one or two things so it's long almost 30 minutes but uh, i hope that the information shared is important i mean it's important it's important for all of us to know these things that happen so that is it that is it for today uh i hope you learned one or two things if you did comment below eh turn on the post notification bell subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media platforms i'm gonna be leaving them on the link below if you have any business i want us to do you also can contact me on the email that is Ukuchini, 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 ukuchini. and uh, yeah i do hope you enjoy today's content i uh, love you all until we meet again bye